Hi, I'm Rob from popzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're going to be looking at a bottle of Aphrodite from Brasserie Du Du Ciel in Quebec, Canada. And it is a 6.5% stout brewed with real cocoa and vanilla beans. That sounds amazing. Uh, this was brought back from New York by a friend of mine from work, so big thanks Sharon for bringing this back. Um, Dudu CL have got a really good reputation based, I guess, on um, the Imperial Stout uh, Pesce Martel. It is a fantastic Imperial Stout. I've had it just once before and it was really nice. Anyway, so this is, yeah, 6.5%. It's a really good level of ABV that. For me, that's like, that's, a, that's like the sweet spot. You don't want it too strong, you don't want it too light. It's a really good level of ABV that. Anyway, I can't wait to try this. So I've just reviewed a bit of a duff beer, so. A bit of a, a, bit of a ronin, really. Anyway, got me brew dog, Teku glass. Got me cocoa and vanilla bean stout. Anyway, let's get this in the glass. Interestingly, it's got a, it's got a screw top on the bottle. I wonder if that were intentional. I remember an episode of um, uh, the series that Sam Caljone, uh, Brewmasters, uh, Sam Caljone did on Discovery, and they got a lot of uh, a batch of the wrong bottles, and they were screw tops, and it all kind of went a bit pear shaped. So I wonder if that was intended to be a screw top bottle. Mm. I didn't think to screw it off. Anyway, less of the uh, frivolity. Let's have a look at this. Pitch black, absolutely pitch black. Holding it up to the light, absolutely pitch black. Um, quite a quite a fizzy, foamy head. But a handsome looking beer, certainly. But to be honest, I can't wait to get my nose in this. So vanilla and cocoa. Anyway. Oh wow. Oh, that smells incredible. It reminds me in many ways of um, Southern Tears Blackwater series, the Mocha and Coke and um, Java and Chocolate and all that. It's got a sweetness to it. It's got a definite pronounced sweetness. But unlike those beers, which are like 10, 11%, this is only 6.5. So there's none of that uh, alcohol in the nose. But all of that creamy milk chocolate, hint of dark chocolate, loads of fresh vanilla pods. I really want to uh, brew a, a vanilla flavoured beer, probably a porter or a stout. Oh, that smells incredible. Oh, like the best quality vanilla ice cream you've ever smelled. Oh, wow, 6.5% as well. I wish I could get more of this just to smell it. It smells incredible. Anyway, cheers. I cannot wait to taste this. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. 6.5. I guess the only, I'm going to start with bad points. It's a little bit thin. It's only 6.5 though. I'll accept that. I will completely accept that for the wonderful taste that it has. It is a beautiful tasting beer. A nice bit of carbonation keep, keeps it lively at the front. A tiny bit of hops, I'd say. Tiny bit of hops. And then a nice kind of. Um, Coffee quality, nice espresso quality. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the kind of uh, blackberries and um, kind of black currant quality, which I'm thinking with the hops. It's lovely, it's a lovely combination of that kind of um, dark berries and coffee to, initially. And you've got a really nice retro nasal. Uh, this is a, a, a phrase that I picked up in a, a book about Belgian beer. It's the, it's the, 
after you've swallowed, it's the, it's as the um, aromas kind of circulate around your uh, around your kind of nasal cavity. You're smelling them again, and that is it's got a real kind of expressive quality of that of coffee and a, a really nice roasted malt edge and black chocolate like a really dark chocolate but and loads and loads of smooth lush sweet vanilla it is it's it's a real wonderful sensory uh, experience the last time i had this kind of experience was with cantillon lu pepe where it hits you in the mouth you feel the carbonation you taste the things but then you get this additional kind of aromatic quality to it Anyway, I'm talking too much. I'm not drinking enough. It's that it's that combination. It's not. I think I've covered all the flavours really. Chocolate, vanilla, coffee, roasted malt. I think that really covers it nicely. It's as complex as that sounds. It is relatively straightforward. But it is just of such a high standard. Just saying, thinking then, just as I was talking, I was taking in the, those qualities of the aftertaste, which is a really nice dry coffee. Like a filter coffee this time, I'd say. A really bitter black dark chocolate. That's lovely. That's lovely. And then that's that hint of vanilla sweetness it just rounds it off perfectly oh, why why is there only this much of this beer in my house i'm sure there's not much more of it in the country because that is a really memorable beer that is an absolute corker and 6.5 if I finish a, a, a big a bomber of Southern Tier kind of uh, Blackwater series, I'm going to be in a bit, <laughs> a bit of a state. If I finish that at six point five, I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be in a, I'm in a good I'll be in a good mood, that's for sure. But I'm not going to be on my arse. and that is an absolute cracker. Anyway, I'm going to tie up because I don't like to make these reviews too long. Anyway, Aphrodite from Brasserie. Dudo CL in Quebec, Canada, 6.5% ABV. Start with real cocoa and vanilla beans. That is one of the best beers I've had this year. We are in September and that's one of the best beers I've had this year. That is an absolutely fantastic beer. I want more. I really want more. Anyway, thanks for joining me for this beer review. And I hope you one day experience Aphrodite from New DCL. Because it's incredible. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popsy.com. Thanks for joining me. And I'm going to absolutely devour the rest of this beer. Thanks anyway. I'll see you soon. Cheers.